What is up guys? Welcome back to 5280. So today we're gonna to start a mini series and it is gonna be a lot of just short, quick videos on how to do certain things. So uh, we're gonna focus on one topic at a time and it's gonna be something simple as how to clean the inside of your windshield or how to clean your floor mats, stuff like that. So it is gonna be real quick, brief stuff. Now, if you have uh, stuff that you want me to focus on or if you have questions on something I may have missed, please comment below. Give me some ideas and also let me know if I missed anything so I can help you guys out. That's what I'm doing these videos for. So let's get into it. All right, today, guys, we're going to clean our mats and we're going to go from something like this with nasty stains in it to a mat like this that has no stains and it is clean and smells great. All right, so everything you're going to need here. So, first thing is you're going to need a cleaner. So Tough Stuff's what I prefer. I've used it for a long time. You can use an all-purpose cleaner as well. It does the same job. Some stuff will work better than others on different stains. Uh, microfiber towel, you're gonna need at least one or a couple of them, depending on how dirty your carpet is. There is this brush, and this helps me out with a couple different things. Uh, the first thing it helps out with the vacuuming because it does bring stuff that's embedded in the fibers up to the surface, and I can vacuum it out. The other thing it does do is it gives you this effect here, and I'll show you that last. I have a drill with a brush on the end of it, and the reality of this is just to make stuff go a little fast or go a little faster and then make it a lot easier to do your job. Honestly, you could do everything with these three things plus the vacuum, but uh, this helps with a couple different brushes with different sizes and Come to the toilet brush too, just in case. But well, we're not getting into that one. Uh, the last thing you're going to need is a good vacuum. Now you can use your house vacuum, or a shop vac, or just a mini vacuum. Something to help hold, you know, dirt and dust and all that kinds of stuff out of the carpet before you start cleaning. Now well, let's get into the first step. All right, so our first step is going to be take our brush. What we're going to do is we're going to stand all the fibers up in the carpet. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring all the dirt and stuff that's trapped at the bottom to the surface. And it's also going to help stand those fibers up so we can get a better vacuum. So first step, use your brush, then grab your vacuum. You're going to vacuum everything. I'm going to do one more time with the brush, get everything brushed out, vacuum again. And then I'll be ready to spray our stuff onto here and start cleaning. So, let's jump to time lapse. All right, yeah, so we're done with the vacuuming. And actually a lot more came out than I was expecting, especially since these don't see a lot of actual foot traffic since I have rubber mats to cover them. But uh, nonetheless, that's why we do it. Uh, now, next step is going to be grab your cleaner, read the instructions. Unless you're uh, Armor Shield 9, men don't need instructions. Shake it up, and then you're going to spray this on here. So if you have a foaming thing like this is, you're going to use a little more than you expect. So basically, you're going to douse it like so. Now the instructions say on this, let it sit for 30 to 40 seconds to let the fibers kind of absorb it and let it do its thing. Now our next thing that we're gonna use is gonna be our drill. So pretty easy, got this attachment on there. And what we're gonna do from here is basically we're gonna go side to side, work our way up, and then we're gonna go up and down and work our way from left to right. And then I'm going to dry it with the towel. From there, I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to start up here. Say medium speed. Work your way across. And then up to down from left to right. So here's something I want to show you. I don't know if this camera's picking this up, but there's more stuff that's coming out of the carpet as far as dirt and all that. 
So that's the other thing that's really nice about using this stuff. Um, Cause like those extractors, if you use only the extractor, you're not agitating the dirt or anything that's in there. There's tons of stuff that's in the carpet still. And depending on if you take the car to the beach or something, there's gonna be sand embedded in this that the vacuum can't get out. So that's why we have tools like this to get the job done just that much better. All right, so we did a couple of passes. Now here's something you guys probably should expect. When it's pulling dirt out of the fibers, it is gonna fling stuff. So if you're wearing a shirt you like, probably don't wear it, wear something else. And I'm doing this on the toolbox here. It's just pulling all kinds of dirt and grime out of it. Now, what you're going to want to do is take your microfiber towel you want to drag it across and what this is doing is it's lifting the dirt out of the fibers and bringing it into something else so you guys can see that that's what we're pulling out which is pretty gross and again these mats don't get used that much i mean the reality the car is not driven that much and there is another mat on top of these. So we're still pulling out a considerable amount of dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again and get it to where I'm happy with it. Honestly, I'd probably repeat this process uh, probably about three to four times max, or say actually three to four times minimum to actually get a good quality clean. So I'm gonna go run through it one more time and We'll pull some more dirt out and I'll show you what that looks like. And then we'll do our last step. All right guys, so I did a couple more passes. Pretty happy with the way it is. There was a stain over in this area, which is now gone. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna wipe it down. Try to get everything just about out of here. And if you look at it, there's nothing there. So that looks pretty good. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blot it, just try to get the rest of the moisture out. Now, if you have a carpet cleaner or an extractor at home, instead of using the towel, what you can do is use your hot water injector, inject it with hot water and suck uh, all of the dirt and stuff out. That saves a little bit more elbow grease than just using this. And can make it go a little faster, but it can oversaturate and make it longer or take longer to dry. Now, last step, you take a brush and put some stripes in it. And this is going to kind of give it that professional quality look, like so. There we go. We are done. Last thing to do, actually second to last thing to do, depending on how wet it is, stick it outside, let it dry, or if it's not that wet, just throw it back in the car. Awesome guys, a little bit of elbow grease and well, a little bit of time. We turn these mats into, uh, well, turn them into something pretty presentable and there's no stains or anything like that anymore. Pulled out dirt and uh, any odd smells that they may have had. Really easy stuff guys um now if there's something i missed or something you had a question about feel free to comment if there's something you do want me to cover comment below let me know now this stuff is real easy the next one uh that we're gonna put up will be pretty easy as well honestly it's just a lot of quick how-to stuff uh, i appreciate you guys watching please like subscribe let me know how i'm doing and until next time guys i'll catch you later